It is colorectal cancer awareness month and younger adults are being diagnosed with the disease. In 2023, the American Cancer Society reported that 20% of colon cancer diagnoses were patients under 55. That is double the rate in 1995 and I'm a part of that statistic. And in October, I will be four years in remission for colorectal Yay. cancer. So, Dr. Carl Kwok is a gastroenterologist. It, well, I, I always say GI, but gastroenterologist <laughs> with Kaiser Permanente LA. He is here to talk about the importance of early detection and treatment. Good morning. So, good morning. Good morning to you both. Thank you for having us. Of course, a pleasure to have you here. So I was 44 when I was diagnosed, mm. and so it is considered on the younger track, but why are so many younger people getting colorectal cancer? That's an excellent question. Uh, we've noticed, uh, especially in the past two decades, a decreasing incidence of onset. Uh, in fact, historically, the screening age was recommended to be at 50, but as a result of population trends, they've now lowered the age to 45. In fact, one of the mantras, if you will, is 45 is the new 50. And do we know what, like, what is, when you say a, a decreased onset, what does that mean? What are the symptoms? Are fewer people getting symptoms until maybe it's too late? I think there's still a historical uh, bias that when younger individuals have symptoms, it's often can be brushed off. Mm -hmm. So younger individuals may sometimes have symptoms such as uh, blood when they go to the bathroom or unexplained uh, stomach discomfort that just doesn't quite go away or even just unexplained uh, change in their normal pattern. So historically, if they've been relatively regular, almost like clockwork, and then something changes, oftentimes it can be um, incorrectly attributed to other factors such mm -hmm. as stress. And that's why screenings are so important. And I have Crohn's disease, so mm -hmm. I get screened with a colonoscopy every year now, every six months mm -hmm. post-cancer. Mm -hmm. However, it, they caught it really early, stage one. So as I always joke, I went from colon to semicolon <laughs> and, uh, and had the surgery and, and then had the chemo after. But it is so important because you know your body and, and you know when things aren't right. And so it's so important to talk to your physician about that and get screened. The earlier, the better. Colonoscopies aren't too bad. That's right. And I think that that's actually a very important point. You know, you know your body the best, right? Nobody else knows your body more than you. And it's very important to have these open, uh, upfront conversations with your physician um, to seek timely medical attention. Um, talk about early detection and survival rates. Um, you know, a lot of times insurance doesn't doesn't cover it early on. I think 45 is the typical age that insurance starts covering it. That's the age you just recommended um, to start getting screened. What does that do for your survival rate in, in catching it early? So the philosophy in our uh, medical profession is that the earlier you can detect uh, any condition, health condition, the more options are on the table. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, what we do, what I do, uh, we are able to sometimes help treat these conditions at the very earliest of stages. Uh, and for example, in the very earliest of stage, the long-term survival at five years is well over 90%. Amazing, and uh, we want to celebrate Marina too. Oh, thank you. It's, thank I know you. Four it's a, years. It was, a tough it was a road, a journey. So it, it we're so journey. happy to have you with us, healthy, yeah. and congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, and Dr. Wong. Thank you so much for being here. We really thank appreciate it.